Hello friends, and welcome to my playthrough of Jurassic Park Part 2 The Chaos Continues for the Game Boy. As always, I thank you so much for joining me. Now let's do this. Zone 1-1 one, one. You are now in Jurassic Park. Be careful, because many of the dinosaurs are free to roam in the park, and can be very dangerous. Yeah, I think that goes without saying. Alright, so... I feel compelled to comment on the story of this game um, because it doesn't make any sense. Okay, now it's Jurassic Park Part 2, The Chaos Continues, suggesting that it's a sequel. Okay, but here's what the instruction manual says. It says, although it was supposed to be business, Dr. Grant thought the trip to Isla Nubbler would be fun. Get a little sun, get away from the lab, see some living dinosaurs. But Grant, a great paleontologist, never expected to be fighting for his life. Invited by Jurassic Park's founder, John Hammond, to inspect the island's dinosaur installations, Grant is in the heart of a vicious hurricane which destroyed Jurassic Park's central headquarters. Computer systems are offline, electrical fences are down, and the dinosaurs have taken over the park. Grant is trapped. If he wants to escape alive, he must collect the security cards needed to open the gates between compounds. To reach the helicopter that will take him to safety, he must fight his way through the park and get away from the hungry prehistoric carnivores. So what... Exactly, does, is this just a reimagining of the events of Jurassic Park? I can't figure it out. Like, it's billed as a sequel, but it's the same story, more or less. Yeah, I just, I have no idea what's going on. So yeah, I guess, I mean, that's that's all there is. So you have to go through each level, which the instruction manual says is broken down into different compounds. I think there's like four of them. Um, and you collect the security cards to open the gates. And like, there are some levels where you need like 30 security cards. So what you're telling me basically is that 30 separate people, in order to get out of a specific compound, are all required to get together at the same time, swipe their cards, to get to the next section. That's the weirdest security I've ever seen. And what happens if somebody loses their, their card? Like, I've worked in environments where you need security cards to get in everything. And if you lose it, you're kind of screwed. And it happens. People lose them all the time. And, like, these guys are out in the jungle, so we're out in the jungle messing around with dinosaurs. My security card gets dropped somewhere in the foliage, and now I can't go to lunch. And nobody else can go to lunch, because all 30 of us have to scan our freaking cards. <laughs> I don't know who came up with that. Oh, boy. But seriously, though, this is one of the best Game Boy games I've ever played. Um, and it's actually really high on the list of great Jurassic Park games, too. Oh, this is easy. Here, check this out. There's a little trick. You just duck down in these things and keep throwing grenades, and this... Seriously, this Triceratops will be dead super quick. You gotta duck down, though, because then it can't step on you for some reason, even though that's, like, a six-foot-wide hole. I don't know. Yep, and there you go. That quickly. Hooray! Good job, Dr. Grant. Zone 2-1. Well done. You succeeded in the first section. But listen, the hardest part is yet to come. Again, more obvious... These, these jungle levels here, these, these Pteranodon levels, they kind of start to get a little maze-like, especially the second one. Um, but I really like the layout, and I like the look, like the, the, the jungle in the background, and 
you know, all the like the larger fronds and things in the foreground. I think it's really, really cool. They, they did a good job with, with layering and atmosphere in this game. Which makes sense. I mean, it was pretty late in the Game Boy's life. I mean, this one came out in 94, I think. So, I mean, these developers, especially Ocean, because Ocean did a ton of Game Boy games. Um, they had a lot of time and experience to really get things right. And some of these later Game Boy games are legitimately impressive. The only part about this level I don't like is when you're trying to do all this platforming and these little pteranodons are flying around getting in the way. Whoa, where'd that second one come from? I can't even imagine how the Triceratops got up here. No, that's not a secret wall. There's a few secret walls in these jungle levels, and I can never remember where they are. Ooh, extra life. Nice. Now we'll just drop down here and keep going to the right. This is where I walked through earlier, and then I turned back. And just random floating leaves. <laughs> mid-90s game design, you know? Oh, come on! Dude, the dinosaurs in this really... They respawn so quickly. Right. There's that music telling me that I'm ready to go. I got all the keys, I can go out, go out through the gate, go to the next level. Ocean was really a big fan of, like, collectathons with their Jurassic Park games. Like, the first one on NES and Game Boy, they're basically the same game. You gotta collect all these eggs to get a key card to go into the buildings you gotta go into. And this one, you gotta collect all these key cards to get out. It's just, it's a very, very strange thing that they decided to do with this franchise. Die! You too. That one tends to get in my way. Oh great, health I don't need. Dude, the soundtrack in this game is, like, really good, too. I know it's basically the same soundtrack as the first game, both on NES and Game Boy, but it sounds a little bit different here, like it's remixed, and I really like it a lot more. Like, it feels like it has a little bit more depth to it. But maybe that's just me. I'm a little weird. Knowing how to use the grenades in this game is really important, too. Secret wall? Yes! I knew I'd find one. Ooh, extra life. Cool. There's a card. Oh, great, a dead end. And, dude, he respawned. I turned around for two seconds and it was back. Awesome. All right, three more key cards. A lot of climbing in this one. Okay, I actually need that health this time. Over the floating leaves. 
Another key card. Great. Back over the floating leaves. And up we go. Full health again. Key card. All right, one more, one more. I swear, I hope I didn't miss one. It's so frustrating to get to the gate and you've missed like one or two key cards, so you gotta go back and do it all over again. I heard it. Okay, it's safe to jump down. Cool. Oh, that was just health, that wasn't a card. See, I don't need the health. I have full health. Alright, Dr. Grant, let's find that card. Yes! And a secret wall? Yes! Secret wall. And another life. Sweet. I think the gate's this way. Yes, it is. Nice. Now on to the boss fight, I think. Pteranodon Zone. This one's really easy, too. All it's going to do is swoop back and forth, alternating directions, and in between waves, send a bunch of babies at you. They just stand on the edge, and when it comes down, you're already shooting, and then you follow it and keep shooting. This one goes down real quick, too. Yes! Dr. Grant, Dinosaur Lover and Executioner. <laughs> oh, the T-Rex Pursuit. Watch out! T-Rex has escaped from its enclosure and is just behind you. Oh boy. You will have to be very quick here. I'll try. Whoa! I gotta be honest with you though, the, the head sprite for that T-Rex, not so good. I think the biggest problem in these T-Rex pursuit levels is the baby Tyrannosaurs. I think that's where I take most of my damage. Now, see, the thing about these, these levels that's different, the key cards are there. Okay, but you don't need the key cards to get out of the level because it's scrolling, but if you collect them all, you get an extra life at the end. So that's a nice little bonus. Up and over. And over and again. For the most part, the, the key cards do appear right in front of you where you're going to go anyway, but some of them are, like, underneath something or on top of something, so you have to kind of, like, do some risk assessment and figure out if you have enough time to grab it or if it's worth the risk to try. Oh, no. See, I probably should have grabbed that health, but I really... And that, that um, extra life there, too. I had a really strong feeling that I was going to miss it and end up getting killed. I'm actually really nervous. I'm not sure if I'm going to beat this level this time. Oh, boy. It gets a little hairy right here, too. All those little platforms and the spikes and everything. And there's the last one. Yes! And there's my extra life. Very good. Obviously, nothing can stop you. But do you think you will be able to get past this new stage? Dude, I swear, this... This computer thing makes it sound like there's some sort of a villain running around Jurassic Park just trying to screw up Dr. Grant. Now this strategy is important because the grenades, you keep throwing them like this because there's fish that jump out of the water at you and you'll always hit them. 
So, like, you don't have to worry about the fish. But then when you hear that sound, that, like, you know, that impact sound, that's because there's one of these long neck things under the water, and it's it gives you a, an extra second of warning so that you can jump and not get hit by them. Really helpful. This level, this is a little bit boring. I think that this is like a low point in the game. Like, it, I feel like um, like the pacing slows down here because it's just moving along. I don't know. It just feels slow and boring to me. I mean, it's not terrible, but they could have removed this level and I wouldn't have missed it. But it's a Jurassic Park game in the early 90s made by Ocean. It just has to have a raft level. That was a thing that they all had to have. I don't know why. And the, the worst part of this level is the, 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 the pteranodons. They get in the way. They, they're, I think I get the most damage from the pteranodons. Over the spiky balls. You see, and the spike balls, that also suggests to me that there's a villain. But there's no payoff. There's, there's no villain boss at the end of the game. Like, there's no psychopath that I have to put down so I can get on the helicopter and get out of here. Yeah, you see, those explosions, those are the fish before they actually get to jump out at me. And then you hear that noise. That lets you know that one of those is about to jump out. And then when you get off the boat, you switch to the gun real quick, because you're always going to have to fight with these pteranodons. They're always going to be in the way. They're always going to be a problem. Back in the boat. And just to get out of it again. <laughs> like, I went 10 feet in that boat. Some much-needed health. That's going to help me out. I think I'm getting close to the end of the level, finally. And another boat. There's gonna be more jaws coming up at me. There's gonna be plenty of fish. Of course, these wonderful spike balls. They, they literally make no sense. Like, in the larger context of this game and the world it takes place in, I just don't understand why they're there. Ooh. See, that one got me. Because I wasn't doing the thing. And that one, too. Gosh. I swear, if I die at this point, I'm going to be very upset because I'm super close to the end of the level. That's going to frustrate me to no end. Oh, cool, extra life. Good. I like that when you get an extra life, it replenishes your life as well. Awesome. Zone 3-2. Okay, this level... This one's pretty cool, too, but it is... It's a bit of a maze. It's real easy to miss key cards. And these horseshoe crabs take forever to die. You're better off just going around them. And this thing, I don't even know what this is, but it, like, spits out balls at you? I don't know. Didn't a Super Mario game have an enemy like that in the water level? I can't remember which one. I want to say it was three, but I could be wrong. Just keep on going along. Try not to get hit. Whoa! Nope. Uh, and it respawned, of course. Yeah, you don't have a lot of room there either. And, of course, a pteranodon. Always in the platforming, there's got to be a pteranodon in the way. Dude. It... This Dilophosaurus, there's, it's the only one in the entire game, and it's a pain in the butt. 
See, look at all these. There's really no point in having so many in the level, because they're all together. Like, that could have just been one. But no, instead, we're going to create a situation where 45 people need to all get together and scan their keycards just to go to lunch. Weird security. Is there anything up here? No, of course not. Wasted my time again. That's what I do. Whoop. Um, no, I'll have to go over it. Okay. It's really tight down here, and I don't like it. See, there's... Oof. Some kind of weird ball. Stick to the bottom. Because I'm... I don't think that the key cards can float. I think that they're always like on the ground. So there's no point in like swimming up higher and swimming in the, all these random areas and stuff. Boom, there's one in the corner. That's a real easy one to miss. Over here we go. 23 left. I'm really hoping that they're all in just like one... Oh my gosh, seriously? Now we gotta go all the way back to the beginning and try and find these missing key cards. What a pain. You see, like, you take... You take one wrong path and you end up missing a whole bunch of key cards that you need to get out. over here, back down the platforms with the pteranodon. Ugh. Yeah, of course. Because he swims down too slow. Great. I know it. I'm gonna get hit and I'm gonna I'm gonna have to start the level over. One stupid hit left. Well, let's try anyway. There's one by itself. And there's six more. And then a whole bunch over here. And I'm still missing three. So that means I gotta go all the way back. Oh, boy. Yeah, you gotta be careful. Because... You're, uh, you're, you are inevitably gonna miss some. There we go. Uh, the music didn't change. There must be a glitch. Well, it's easier for me to go over land than to swim, so I'll go over as far to the left as I can before jumping in the water and trying to swim. I swear. That horseshoe crab and that little narrow thing over there, I'm going to get hit by that. I just know it. Like, there's no room over there. Oh, I made it. I made it. No, get away from me, bird. Thank goodness. Oh, boy. I'm nervous. I'm straight up, like, super nervous right now. I mean, I have plenty of lives. If I get hit and I die, it, it's not the end of the world to restart the level. But I don't want to do it. Oh my gosh, no! Get away from me! Of course, it's going to respawn, though. Yep, there it is. Just go over. I'm going to go over it. Okay. Now that weird sea cucumber. Cool. Oh boy. No. Okay, up. Go over it. And here we go. Awesome. Awesome. That was amazing. Oh, look, he's all tired. <laughs> That's a harpoon monster. Yeah, this is a weird one. Like, this harpoon monster just comes out, 
You shoot him, you kill the snails, and he comes out again. This is really not that difficult of a boss, though. This is all you do. You just shoot it as much as you can and try and avoid getting shanked. Stay out of the... Stay out of the middle. You know, try and stick to the top or bottom. Whoa! You almost got me. Oh, no, you stupid snail! Oh. Great. It moves really slow in the beginning, and then as it as you chip away at its health, it gets faster and faster. Which ultimately just makes it harder to hit. Get the snails. Yeah, this is just another one of those rinse-repeat bosses. It takes as long as it takes, but it really doesn't take very much at all. See, it's almost dead already. It's really starting to speed up, though. Come on, come on. Yes! Yes, I got it. Okay, that wasn't too bad. And now another T-Rex pursuit. Watch out! You are once again being pursued by the T-Rex, which you managed to shake off before. Well, yeah, but that's because I'm awesome. Oh, here we go. Oh, boy. This level makes me really nervous because this one's kind of like a maze, and there are areas where you have to pick the correct path because if you don't, you will be crushed. And there's lots of these these areas where you got to jump out of the thing just right because otherwise you'll hit your head and land in the spikes, and then you'll just die. That's one of those areas that always tripped me up when I was younger, like when I was a kid. I died in this level so much, it drove me insane. Like, I, this level caused me to rage quit so many times. I gotta be honest, though, I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to get all the key cards in this level. Because I think some of them are gonna appear in areas that are a little bit dicey to get to, and I may not have time to grab it and get back. Oh, these jumps. I can't stand these jumps. This whole, this whole level makes me so nervous. It's okay though, so far I'm doing really good. All right, there's a key card, and now there's another one. A health pickup I don't actually need, so that's good. Oh boy. All right, I grabbed it, good. Now these stupid jumps. See, if you don't get this jump right, that one right there, you're dead, because you won't be able to get back up onto it. Like, it's too high to jump onto. Gosh, I will wipe out every single one of your hatchlings. I'm not even playing around. Stupid little murder chickens. Got it. Awesome. Platforming over spikes. I gotta be getting close to the end, though, because there's only uh, five more... five more key cards. No? Okay. I got scared for a minute. Alright, four left. Three... Oh, yeah, I gotta be so close to the end now. Come on, a zigzag thingy. That's how you die. Dude, there are so many hatchlings in this one. I'm really scared I'm going to get caught. Oof. 
Ooh, see? I could have got stuck there. I'm really low on health, though. I hope I don't die. In here. See, there's another one. You'd get stuck there. Awesome. And I got my extra life. Zone 4 1. That's a Velociraptor Claw. You've reached the most dangerous part of Jurassic Park. And you will need a lot of courage and skill to get out of this area alive. Good luck. Okay, thanks, Dr. Moriarty. Um, this level, both of these actually, are a real pain because they're. They're kind of labyrinthine. Like, you have to go up these elevators and go down each and every single little path to get all the all the key cards. And it's super, super easy to get turned around. It's real easy to, to miss one. God, what even is that, dude? It's like a jelly with spikes in it. Like, what is that supposed to be? God, the soundtrack rules. See, and more elevators. Thankfully, it just leads to a key card. There's only a few in these levels, but... The, the levels are so... I don't know, there's a lot of walking. There's a lot of space to cover and a lot of different paths to take. So, I mean, they take a lot longer than they feel like they should. And then, of course, there's those little guys that run around and they leap at you. And waiting for the elevators is excruciating. I'm not a fan of the, the design of this level at all with all the elevators. I don't like it. It's just... it slows down the pace so much. Go on, elevator. Conveyor belts. I don't like conveyor belts either. Especially when they make no sense. Like, there's... <laughs> there's no production line in Jurassic Park, so why are there conveyor belts? Two left. See, they respawn, too. We Down we go. Whoa! Scared me. Oh. Yeah, these blind jumps. That's not a good idea. This is really close to the end of the game. Fire! Fire! I don't... I don't understand why there's random fire. <laughs> I mean, really, game design in the 90s was just... It could be so goofy sometimes. Like, they don't know what hazards to put in, so they're just like, throw a jet of fire somewhere. That was weirdly common. Oh, there's nothing up there. Then why... Why does the elevator go up there? Why is the gate so far? Like, I have more Indiana Jones crap to do before I can get to the gate. Gosh. Of course, I've got one hit left, and... All these hazards. Don't get killed by the fire, Dr. Grant. Fire is hot. Yes! And we're out. 
Velociraptor Zone. All right. I'm definitely going to die here. I mean, this isn't a really hard boss, but it's one of those bosses that's always going to damage you. Oh. So you took me by surprise, scared the crap out of me, and killed me. He's got a silly little pattern. And honestly, dude, the Velociraptor model is goofy looking. Like, his claws are in the middle of his ankles, and he's got a real long neck. I mean, really, it looks more like a, ga a Gallimimus than a Velociraptor. Minus the claws. There we go, got him. Once you figure out the pattern, it's really not that hard. Zone 4-2. Alright, here we go. I'm not screwing around anymore. I just want to get this level done and get out of here. This one's more of a pain than the last one. It's a little bigger, and the, the paths are a little bit longer. And it's, it's so easy to miss a keycard. Like this one over here, down in this little corner. If you weren't paying attention, you wouldn't even see that path. Or even if you did, you might not think to go down it. There's just one key card at a dead end. Now I go all the way back up. Weird spiky things. I don't... It looks like they have a wheel on the front of them. Like, what is that? Yay, more conveyor belts. And pteranodons. Fun. Got him. Just keep moving on. Oh, of course. I'm so gonna die. Alright. Four left. Here and get this one. I have no idea what's underneath these things, and I really do not want to find out. Oh, it was spikes. Well, now I'm really glad I didn't jump down there looking for a uh, for a key card. Lots of fire. Somebody really needs to look into these gas pipes. I mean, Jurassic Park isn't even open yet, and the pipes are already breaking down. This park was always going to be a disaster, wasn't it? Over even more conveyor belts. Let's see, is there one over here? Yes, there is. Two left. Awesome. Whoa! I almost bit the dust right there. Man. Just one left. And there it is. Awesome. Come on, elevator. Back up. Now, the gate's not over here, but this wall is. And an extra life. Now we can leave this level. And here's the gate. All right. T-Rex zone. All right, here we go. All right, the best thing to use here is the grenades. And when it comes over to bite, 
you just crouch down in the corner over there and it won't be able to touch you. And then every once in a while these guys will come out and you have to kill them. See, when the T-Rex retreats like that, you know the guys are going to come out on the left. So then you just switch to your gun, take them out, switch back to the grenades, start fighting the T-Rex again. Ugh. See, that was just a dumb decision. It's okay, though. Yes! <laughs> Why is it licking the ground? <laughs> Alright. Now we get in the helicopter, and we win. We get off the stupid island. Bye-bye, Jurassic Park. Again, or maybe for the first time, I don't really know. You have escaped Jurassic Park. Yes, I have. You have succeeded where others become dinner. But some dinosaurs survive. And only time will tell who rules the Earth. Uh, I guess it's the dinosaurs, because, I mean, they can eat us. Either way, thank you for watching. I'm very glad that you were here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy the video, please remember to like and maybe subscribe, share it around, do whatever floats your boat. But for now, it's game over.